Hello, 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 YouTube. Video Crazy Machine here. And today, I have a tutorial on how to install the Minecraft Shaders mod. And this is something that I just learned, and this is really cool, is that Optifine comes with the Shaders mod installed now. Yeah, all you need to do to get the Shaders mod is install the latest version of Optifine. I'm not entirely sure how many versions. I think it is 1.7, 1.8.7, 1.8.8, 1 1 and 1.8.9. I'm pretty sure those versions all support it, but I know for a fact 1.8.9 does, and it's the newest one, so you might as well use it. So yeah, all you need to do to get the shaders mod is just go to Optifine. Yeah, you see, you go to Optifine, it's Optifine.net. Make sure you're not on some shady Minecraft sites. Go to Downloads. You'll probably want to click on Mirror, because the ads on this site are really sketchy. And then uh, just click on that. And then you have this, the Optifine installer. So all you need to do, run the Optifine installer. I'm sure you've done this before. You should install. Optifine is successfully installed. We can. Uh, the next thing you need is you, of course, need a shader pack. So my favorite shader packs are CUDA shaders, which you can find just by Googling CUDA shaders. I'm clicking on this. CUDA shaders is good because it's uh, it looks really nice, and it's probably the best performing shader pack that's still like on high end, isn't a light version. So, yeah. And then uh, Seuss is my other favorite. Um, and if you're getting Seuss, you will, as you can see, you can just Google Seuss. It's the very first thing. And then you'll want to download this one. It says it's a work in progress, but it actually looks really nice. It's a pretty big improvement over uh, the other ones. And it's not glitchy at all. It works fine. So you'll want to download this one. And I'm sure you can find the download link for CUDA shaders. So I'm just going to download uh, this just so I can show you how to do it if you've never actually installed Optifine before or inst installed a shader pack before alright whoa 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 nope nope go away go away nope nope okay no viruses please so yeah here we have our shader pack we can just drag that onto the desktop and uh, no need for this so we already installed Optifine so all we need to do is launch Minecraft the Minecraft launcher and it see it's it's already selected Optifine, and so if you have like eight gigabytes of RAM or more, you'll want to check this box. You'll want to edit profile, check this box, and then set it to four right there, because that that that'll make it so it will use four gigabytes of RAM instead of just one. So that will help with performance if you have enough RAM. Obviously, if you don't have that much RAM, then don't do that. But uh, if you're installing shaders, I would assume you have enough RAM. All right, so. Now that we have that sorted out, we'll want to go to percent app data percent as we always do, so that we can get to our dot minecraft folder. As you can see, I have a brand new dot minecraft folder, completely fresh installed, just so I could show you this. So I'm not, I didn't have shaders installed beforehand. This is all coming just from, uh, just from Optifine. Okay, so yeah, we have to run, run Optifine first. So we'll just hit play. And there we go. All right. So now that we've done that, we can hit X. Percent app data percent dot Minecraft. And you see now there's a shader packs folder. So you just want to drag your shader pack that you downloaded straight into here. You can do any shader pack. Basically works. Uh, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure shaders are pretty cross version compatible shader packs. But I'm not. I'm not completely sure about that. But yeah. Now that we've done that, all we need to do is, of course run Minecraft and I'll show you you have to do a few more settings in game to make sure it works alright now that we have a uh, Minecraft this is a brand new install so I'm gonna fix some settings really fast make sure you turn off vsync vsync is horrible alright so one one setting that you have to do those are just my personal preferences uh, but if you have it on vsync it it creates a lot of mouse lag it's really bad so you want you need to go into performance oh I forgot to fix this you need to go into performance and then turn fast render off otherwise it doesn't work and it'll tell you to go turn it off if you try to use it so now let's just create a world so now that we're to options to op options video settings and shaders if you've installed shaders mod before you know it used to be like a button right here but now it's in video settings itself. So go here and you will select what mod it is that you use, whatever shader pack, I mean. 
And there you have it. We have Shaders Mod Minecraft. And shaders Mod in Minecraft. Yeah, we have Shaders Mod working perfectly fine, just beautifully. Same performance as it as it always had before. And uh, yeah, all we had to do was install Optifine, which is a really easy process. Obviously, you just